Hey, 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 Liam Bobby to the Sun Game is Act 10, and I got some sad updates for you, and that is the fact that I am sick. I don't know what happened lately. Um, I, I was, it, it started around Sunday when my throat was scratchy, then it progressed very fast. And I've just been dealing with uh, a scratchy throat and dizziness, and I'm not really sure what else. But uh, all the other symptoms are gone, but yet I still have a very, very scratchy throat. Meaning it's going to be impossible for me to at least keep up with this review I'm doing. Because, well, I think it's obvious. It's... <sighs> Today, I'm actually going to currently go to the doctor and see what's wrong, because, well, I'm actually very nervous at the moment, because I, because I've never been this sick before. I missed two school days, well, actually three now, because of this, and I fear it's going to get worsened. It's not going to be that one disease that everyone has over 2020 and 2021, because I highly doubt that I've been very careful, even though I have not been vaccinated at all because of our money condition. And it was, and I hope it's just some flu. I'm not even going to go on a rant on like how I think this is like karma biting me in the butt because, you know, I'm not going to bring up the server drama again because I. Had to apologize to Vic because it's his server, so I have to apologize for him for my actions. None of y'all need to take the blame, even though I kind of did and all that stuff. But this is, but we're not here for that. We're here for something else. We're here for her, my baby girl, as in like my child, not. I don't love her. I, I've never tried to... End. Okay, I'm getting off topic here. So, this, my fellow... Okay, hold on a minute. Fixed. Alright, let's get started. Oh, hold on. That's better. So, this, my lumpies and germs, why am I stealing quotes now? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Tom Toys Molly 2.0. Now, if you don't know what Tom Toys is, I'll lay it down for you. It is possibly one of the most second popular Tom's games of all. I say second because we all know who's the, who's the first. It's, it's obviously the... TOS and not a moment. However, this one takes a different approach. Instead of trying to like be like a uh, a show accurate Thomas the Tank Engine with um show accurate stuff like say with Blue Train with Friend but on a cheaper budget, this one isn't meant to be accurate. It can be whatever the hell it wants, despite having the layouts for. The actual Island of Sodor, but it turns its own spin on it. Now, Molly was in this game before. There was like a coal plant that she was in, but it got removed during the Hall Halloween update, and I was upset. I was generally upset, because well, couldn't they just relocate her? And it turns out, they did. Into Abby. Which, trust me, it was not a good journey getting across from there, because like... Like I said, or I never think I mentioned it, this laptop is a bit, no, it's always glitching on me, so I had to like wait for things to load, and the Bill Godger branch is alright, I'm not going to review the entire game, the branches yet, well actually no, I'm not going to review the entire game until the actual final update is announced, because that's when I'm actually going to review the game, because who reviews a game before the last update, that would just be weird. Well, I mean, they do it, but... Okay, I'm getting off topic again. So, like I said, there's a new Molly. However, this Molly doesn't seem like the one I was used to. This one seems like a new one. And you know what? I actually like it. I like it a lot. So, um, let's see what's new about this Molly. Well, first off, there's an interior in her now. 
And this model was made by a certain... Ah! Hold on. Let me just get in. Co Coco and... Fred... Uh, I can't. But as you can see... Yeah, I actually like this interior. Like, it's actually really creative. Let's see here. Molly Cub, because yes. Oh, Molly Cab, because yes. I actually approve this. <sighs> it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Which I actually don't mind the cab. It's actually really good. There's also any duck home. I don't know what that means. But still, I actually like this. I wish I could do something like this with my Molly model. But number one, I don't think cab detail is allowed. Number two, I think it's pretty obvious my Molly model is never going to make it to Blue Tram Friend ever again. Okay, don't mind the glitches, folks. It's I think it's because, you know, I'm running out of this. Yeah. But anyways, so this Molly model actually has some new features, like the blushing, for example. The eyes can still move up, down, left, right, and all around. And to like activate the blushing section, you just hit the yellow box, I believe. And I keep the blush there. The whistle is... Oh, wait. No. The whistle is... Well, actually, there's like a whistle bud, but sometimes they add it. And as for the faces, you got you got a normal happy face, you got a very happy face, a smug look, which I actually like this for this one. You got an angry look. You got an annoyed look. You got a a questioning look. You got a a very sad look. You got a, a very worried look, or sad number two, I believe. A very ashamed look. If you're wondering why the camera is, like, shaking a lot, it's it's my hands. I have, like, anxiety and all that stuff, and I cannot keep my balance. That or probably be this due to the fact be that my, I place my laptop, like, right here on the desk. Well, it's supposed to be right here, but, like... No, it's fine. Let's see here. You also got a, a surprise face. A very, very concerned, scared face. Uh, her with no eyebrows. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a reference to her original face. Or the fuck this is. <laughs> a sleepy face. Uh, ah! Brace for impact face. And there you go. That's all the faces. As for the controls. What? I'm not doing it. Because like. Literally. Why would you ask for the controls. When the entire control scheme is the same. You got your whistle button. Release steam. Theme song button, which I'm not going to click because I don't know what song this is and I'm not going to get risk of copyright because, well, I'm not, I'm not editing this video. This video is going to be raw. You also got your low speed, normal speed, high race speed, and something that's only exclusive to this game, I think, is the runaway speed, which this speed is going to be overpowered. It basically just launches the engines like, zoom! Across the entire map, but like, if you if you want to have an accident, that's what it's actually meant for, and all that stuff. Anyways, okay, and let's see here. As for the actual look, it seems that some new features were added outside of the cab. There's also this piece. I don't know what it is. Um, she got three lanterns, like she does, but I think all of them light now. There we go. Even though I don't even know what even is the functions for these types of lanterns, 
if there's no nighttime section. Maybe there's there's gonna be one in the in the actual update. I'm not really sure. I just heard. Oh, I almost forgot. This. If you hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna move you a bit. See this? Apparently there's two strings attached to her cab. I don't know if it was like this or if it was a glitch, but if it's a glitch, then oop. If it's intentional, then I actually weirdly like it. Like, it makes to where your, um, <sighs> where your, uh, tender and the actual engine are fully connected because I always have a problem with the Gordon. And that's the fact that his tender always flies off whenever we're moving. Like, it's so bouncy. There's no weight to it. And it annoys me. Thankfully, when I was in the, the server... Not the Tom Toys one. The, uh, my safe haven server. A blue chamber of friends. Um, I think a guy named Rubber Ducky posted a Gordon that he's making. And I don't know if this was supposed to be a pilot Gordon or not. But it feels like a Gordon 2.0 for me. So we might get that in the future. Anyways, uh, I give this model a 10 out of 10. That's just for me. For anyone else, it would be, um, I'm going to say like a 8 out of 10. Because, well, people are going to gawk over different models anyways. And even though Molly is a, you know, a not well-known character and nobody really gives a crap about her, I do. She's been there whenever I got my first tank and play of her and... I was happy that she was right there by my side. And if I actually had the money, I would go out of my way to get all the merchandise of her. But sadly, I had to wait until I get a proper wooden railway of it. And if I'm lucky, I don't know what basis she is, but if they actually release a basis that looks like Molly, I'm going to get it. And this will be my first time actually modeling. But... I'll wait until I get older and more experience with YouTube. So, that's all I gotta say. Um, review of the entire game is coming soon, and it'll be fully edited, and not crap. Brace yourselves. So, that is all... That is, like, all... So, that's all... Ugh, I can't speak today. So that is all for today. I'll make, I'll be sure that I'm still moving it when I get out of the doctor. If it's something serious, then I'll notify you. If it's not, if it's nothing serious, like if it's just a flu, then, then I'll just post an update on my Twitter. But rest assured, I will be back, fully recovered, and expect to see more videos. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. Molly, it's time to go to Vickerstown. Yay! Uh, I think the puffing sounds broke. <laughs>